Well, use the groups to provide a place to get together one on one with other people who are either in the field or have a knowledge level above yours or below yours. And if they're below yours, you get to learn by helping them learn. And uh, uh, networking, of course, is a big one. But uh, the uh, the uh, social aspect of getting together to learn uh, in a situation that is more than just online, uh, it's more like a... Uh, regular classroom situation on an informal basis. There is an incredible amount to learn just by going and seeing these talks by your peers, by some of the absolute gurus in the area, and even you're not going to walk away an expert in any particular technology after one particular talk, but you might walk away with a significant connection for somebody that is uh, more skilled in an area than you are, that you, you can now ask questions. Um, you may wind up with a connection to somebody who can help you find a job. Um, and it's, it's much more about, you know, not, not so much about becoming an expert at any one thing, but rather getting exposure to a whole lot of things so that when the time comes and you face some new programming challenge, some new hurdle in your career, you may have heard of some technology or some technique that you don't know much about, but you remember it addressed that kind of problem. And you have a head start on, okay, I need to go research that now because you heard about it at that meeting. The people who haven't heard about it, they're stuck at ground zero with Google and an empty search bar in front of them. And it's going to take them longer to find the right answer. It really builds community. The people that attend the .NET user group come from all over San Diego County. In fact, all over Southern California. And... It, it pays to know who these people are. So when you run into a problem, there's people who have specialized skill sets who are willing to take time out of their day to work with you. Like you, you, you can call them or drop them an email, and they they will they will help you work through a problem when Stack Overflow might not necessarily do it, or you have to pour through hours of a plural site video in order to find the answer. So it's it really does build community, and it really shows. I think it's a big untapped resource for networking for developers to talk amongst each other. Um, as a recruiter, it's, you know, we're obviously coming to find the best talent, but um, you never know when you might find a job from someone else. We've talked to multiple people that a hiring manager is here and they pull you aside or you never know who you're going to meet. So don't just network with us, network with each other, not only from a technical standpoint, but also from um, a job hunt and, and career search standpoint too. Yeah, and it's such a great resource because there's a lot of times where you ask, like, hey, do you guys have any coding problems? And what better than your peers to kind of help you and, and enlighten you with what they're using, what other companies are using, and just um, a really great resource within within each other and just to network with local professionals who can relate to you within this specific San Diego market. Come and talk to somebody. Just say hi. Because you know what? You're going to find such a wealth of information from everybody here and a great love of the craft and it will definitely it'll definitely energize you to meet someone who loves the craft as much as people here do. It's going to change your point of view on, on, on things like, um, you know, developers are, the way, they, the, the way we think, it's, uh, we're like inside a box, always inside a box, that's always correct. Even when users are complaining, oh, there's something wrong, we think, oh, maybe it's you that's wrong. And, uh, these user groups actually open your eyes that you're not always correct. I would absolutely recommend any candidate that we work with, uh, anybody that's out there looking for a position or anybody that's a, a developer period to come to these groups. You're going to get the opportunity to meet great people, listen to amazing stories and, and get a chance to really develop your career. Uh, so I'd recommend this group to everybody. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, whenever I meet someone, I find, try and find out which user groups they go to because it always helps to just hear a new way of either coding or a new way of attacking things because we all seem to have similar problems that we uh, face in our normal uh, lives and um, at work and also outside of work. So it's always helped to connect with someone uh, both at a professional and personal level.
And, and like Joe said, there's not only one way to do anything in this profession, so you get an opportunity to, uh, to, to learn new things and pick brains of people that, that are doing things in a, in a different and possibly more progressive way. You should come to user group meetings because oftentimes when you're developing in a closed environment, you don't get exposed to different technologies and different techniques. And I, for one, have grown in my development by going to these meetings and code camps because I learned other things that I wouldn't have learned in my you know, corporate environment. I would say come to these .NET uh, meetings because um, when you develop in your own world, you don't know what other people are talking or saying about a technology. And you might read blog posts and you might read books about technologies, but you don't know what people will actually say. When you sit down next to someone in a meeting, they might tell you some pretty horrific things about a technology or great things, but those are things that you will never get out of a book or probably even a blog post. As a software developer that not only interviews developers, but also hires developers, going to a user group earns you automatic brownie points in my mind. Because if you do go to one, either because you show up to my user group or I ask you during the interview process, which will be one of my questions, if you go to a user group or code camp or something on your own time, then I immediately know you like to learn, you like to grow as a software engineer and to spend your own time because work is not gonna give you the time to do this. Software technology changes every day and we have to keep up with it or you're gonna be left behind and you're gonna be stuck in a rut. So user groups are a great place to keep up with technology. You'll be exposed to a lot of topics. Go to all the topics every single month, even though you might not be interested. You'll learn something, I guarantee it. The only reason I know as much as I know is because I've been going to my user group for 20 years now. So go to your local user group. It's also a great place to network, find jobs, find other developers. As you know, the only way to get a good raise is to get a new job. And going to a user group is the best place to find new jobs. Recruiters, other people looking for developers, it's a great place to network. There's lots of user groups in your area. Find one that suits your needs and go today. So if you've never been to your local user group, you gotta try it. Now, it's after work. You wanna be home. You wanna be watching the football game or maybe ice skating, right? Yeah. Trust me. What you will get out of a user group is far more than just technical information. It's a community. And it really is a group of people that you have something, if not a lot of things in common with, that wind up becoming a huge resource for you when it's time to look for your next job, when it's time to understand what the next technology that you should be looking into is. Whatever that is, that community is going to wind up supporting and helping you. I can say that I know of and I have helped and I have found more jobs through the user group people that I know than any other mechanism. Not headhunters, not job boards, not anything else. It's usually just keeping your ears open, starting conversations, and figuring out what's out there and what's available. So go to your local user group today, or at least next time it meets.